What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ted again with another video. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? What's going on? So don't mind this creature-looking mess that's going on right now, okay? We're doing a uh, video tutorial about me doing my hair today, okay, y'all? So um, as y'all can see, I already have started. Um, I just rubber band method this because my hair long in the back and it's short in the front. So I had to use the rubber bands to grip it, y'all, okay? So I'm halfway bald headed, but I'm trying to work with the hair <laughs> that I do got, okay? So I'm going to be showing y'all some of the products that I am using to style my hair. Number, this is my um, model model. This is a 22 inch in color 1B. And y'all, when you put this in, it's not even that long. So I'm going to show y'all how I installed it to make this look really long, like 24 inches. Okay. But I got four packs of these. Um, I have my rat tail comb. As y'all can see, I've been parting my hair with it and stuff. This is my rat tail comb. Some hair oil. It doesn't matter which kind of whatever hair oil you want to use. Some hair ties. Rubber bands, which you already see in my head. And some uh, mousse. And I'm going to put oil sheen and oil in it once I get done and trim it up and some scissors. And you can get a teasing comb or you can use the rat tail comb, but I use this brush. It works wonders with me teasing some of my hair. So, yeah. So, as y'all can see, this is my base. I already did my braids in the back and um, rubber band method in the front. This is going to be my um, side part. I know it looks a mess right now. I've already oiled it and greased it up and all that so um i'm gonna show y'all how i stretch the hair out and to where i make it look real long now you do your hair however you want to do your hair but one of my advice is to get a braiding separation tool to like separate the hair if you want to speed up the process because separating the hair knowing that this is synthetic it's curly it can get tangled up and it can become frustrating but I always uh, try to tell people or advise people to spray water on it or mousse or some type of um, conditioner on it to loosen up the curls so it can be easier for you to separate the hair. But what I'm going to do is y'all see that this usually people will um, insert the hair like this where it's folded in half as you can see. Okay, but we're not going to do it like that. We're going to fold it halfway. So I'm going to do it to about right here. All right, I'm gonna do it about right here and I'm gonna install. So what I do, I just go off a of feel because I already put the braids in. So everything is already lined up. So I just put the braid in and go in with my crochet needle and hook it and pull it through and tie it, secure it. Now, I'm not no expert and this is not like no perfecto type hairstyle but if you want something quick and easy and cute i you know advise to do this and so i go back in just to secure it i go back in with my teasing brush or my brush and push it through once you finish you won't even tell that your hair is teased or nothing like that because it'll be so fluffy and all that when i get through so um i'm gonna continue to do that for the rest of um the back of my hair and then I start on the front. Okay, so my back part is officially done. And so, so right here, y'all, all I'm doing is filling the hair in from the back, just covering up that braid. And I'm just folding it in half. Like I told y'all before, I want it long, medium, and short. So um, I'm going to go in with my brush and I'm going to tease it up to hide it and secure it. That's just the way I like to do it. So, yeah. You see me. This is where <clears throat> the ponytail holders I mentioned in the beginning come in handy. Now, again, I'm going to show y'all this again. You see the blunt end, and then you see the long, thin end. You can pull it like that. That way, you can see both ends 
are the same. And I'm just gonna glue this for the top. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished results, okay? I teased this a little bit because I like to have the little ump in it. I don't like it to look flat. And this is my little side part. It's not the perfect side part, but that wasn't what we was going for. We were just going for something cute. Okay, y'all can see how it looks long. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I already sprayed all my products and oil sheen and stuff I want to spray on it. Um, I'm just going to trim this up some more. Okay. In total, y'all, it took me about five hours. But in reality, I could do crochets in two to three hours if I was doing it on somebody else's head. But on my head, honey, I kept having to sit down, get up, sit down, get up, sit down. But <laughs> this is the final result. Okay. And I still had one whole pack left. So, um, it just only took me three packs to complete this hairstyle, okay, y'all? And y'all can see how I did the long, medium, short. And this is how I like it. You can style it how you want to style it. But I don't like out of hair on my face. And I don't like my crochets to look flat. I like them to look full and all that. So, yeah. This is the... Finish result, yeah.